Hello, my friends, and welcome to our blind let's react of Julian and Trent's official gameplay trailer. That's right, we actually have gameplay footage. It's about a minute and 45 second video. The description is join Julian and his friends in his psychological horror experience inspired by point and click computer games from the early 2000s. Witness many shenanigans with characters from the infamous 98XX, of course, done by our friend of the channel, Jackson G. So let's go ahead and dive into this video and see if we can suss out any secrets or figure out what's going on with this gameplay. Let's not waste any time. Let's go. I hope you all having a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day today. Before I begin, I just want to say thank you, Jackson G, as always, for being so awesome. And at the same time, I believe you can wishlist Julie and Friends on Steam. I'll have a link in the description below if I can find it. So that way you can go and wishlist it and support our amazing friend. Speaking of friends, Julie and Friends, let's go. I, I like how he has a new avatar now. That's awesome. We got a little Jackson G in uh, in the world. A brand new retro style game. And instantly I had to stop because this picture here, uh, we have Darcy, Gerald, Julian, the pencil. We, uh, this is the princess? Who is this? I don't know if I recognize that one. Inspired by early 2000 point and click computer games. Well, hello there, new friend. My hello. name is Julian, and what a lovely surprise it is to see you. Hey, look, it's my lovely wife, Julia. Hi. Today is Julia's birthday, and we are planning a surprise party for her. Okay, we got Julia, and very interesting in the background there. There seems to be a realistic picture behind Julian's uh, shoulder. I, I don't know what that is. But that definitely doesn't look like it fits this world. Hold on, let me back up. See right there. That I'm pretty sure is from 98XX. That is, I don't I forgot the character off the top of my head. Someone will remind me in the comment section. But I'm pretty sure I've seen that picture in 98XX of one of the characters in the game. Not not one of these characters, but one of the characters in the uh the outside world. Julian, and what a lovely surprise it is to see you. Hey look, it's my lovely wife, Julia. Today is Julia's birthday and we are planning a surprise party for her. We just need to make a few stops in town. So we meet Julia and this very much looks like th this very much looks like a point click adventure game where you like choose different areas that you can go to. And I see dancing Darcy has a dance theater, which is pretty cool. There's the castle. And then Gerald's something I can't read it. I, I think I think it was a fail. Hey look, it's my lovely wife Julia. Today is Julia. You can see Julia walk in the background there. That's really really cool. Gerald's Emporium. In town. You can meet the rest of my friends too. Uh, big sale, fifty percent off. Okay. Hello, Gerald. Julian. Help Julian's friends out of a tricky situation. By the way, I'll have a link to this video in the description below if you want to watch it uh, without me stopping it. So we have Nutcracker, Clock, Ghosts, Statuines, Tanks. Oh, the tanks! I remember the tanks from Tank Blast, right? Uh, I don't know the other ones, though. I lost my best parent. Oh, hold on, hold on. Um, it, it, it was hidden there, but we saw it for like a quick second. So you basically had to put the items with the uh, the things. Okay, I see that. I lost my best pair of dance shoes, and I can't seem to find them anywhere. So this is definitely the dance arena, and you can tell by the uh, the poles in the background. That's what uh, ballerinas use to dance, right? And then we have, I guess, a guess a box game? You can help me too. Okay, I'm guessing that's a memory game. 
where the fogs jump and you have to like do different things, sort of like Quest Away 4's uh, doorbell puzzle and many other uh, Super Mario RPGs puzzle, uh, many other things like that. And then we have a diving game. This looks like old school Jaws. When I was a kid, I had surgery done on my teeth and my mom, who loves the movie Jaws, bought me the video game Jaws, which I didn't realize how ironic it was at the time. But now, many, many years later, I'm like, you bought me Jaws when I had teeth surgery. <laughs> but yeah, this looks exactly like Jaws. Go on many other wacky adventures with Julian and his friends. Driving game. Here's a pencil guy. Okay, just drawing a picture. This is the best birthday I've ever had! Because I get to share it with the people I love the most. Hooray! Julie's real friends. Julie and her friends. What's this on scene? Follow on itch.io. Follow on game joy. Go give them a follow, friends. Okay, so Ezra Tech, where dreams never die. Interesting. Ezra Tech could be an anagram for cheaters. Cheaters where dreams never die. Where dreams never die, cheaters. I I'm not really sure of the where dreams never die. It could be... Uh, it could be the fact that maybe they think they the the, the characters cheated their way out of Midturgna. And because of that, a new force or entity is going after them. Um, uh, if you rearrange the letters, you could also spell whenever dreams die. Or where dreams never die. So basically, the idea being that Maybe this is a dream world that our characters are stuck in. Maybe there is no escape from Miturgna. Maybe the maybe the freedom that we gave these characters at the end of 98XX is not real freedom. Maybe we just freed them to another prison. Uh, a higher plain so to speak you know they went from the basic graphics to now the 3d graphics but they're still stuck where they're at they're not they're not progressing and we do have that new character julia who's julian's wife and i just wonder if julia could be nefarious because it's very possible that his wife is not the real thing Maybe. I, I I think I think it's possible that Miturgna or maybe some other higher force could be Julia. Uh, Julia is a devil in disguise. Basically, uh, I'm not sure. I I don't know. Of how the word Julia can be used in any way. It just seems weird that he meets his wife named Julia. And his name is Julian. Because normally when you have names like that. It could be like brother and sister. Be you know I'm thinking of the Chronicles of Narnia. Where you have twins named Corin, and Corin, Or something like that. But I, I don't know. I my, my suspicious level is really high on Julia. Who is this woman? Is she really his wife or is she some mass manipulator? Is she like Wanda from WandaVision creating this fake world and trapping our characters inside it? Although unlike Wanda from WandaVision, she's actually very nefarious and she's trying to put our characters back in the nightmare. I love where this is going because I have so many different theories and all these theories are probably wrong. And maybe it's just a cute, nice game with the characters 98XX, but this screen right here leads me to believe that it's not the case. 
I am... I don't know if this is a true sequel to 98XX, but considering it uses the characters, if it's not a true sequel, it's definitely a spiritual sequel of it. And considering how our friend Julian, uh, Jackson G, <laughs> too many J's, considering how our friend Jackson G likes to wrap puzzles and mysteries within mysteries, I, I, I'm more and more led to believe that this could be this could be something more than just a simple Julian and friends. But then again, that's just a theory. A flightless bird theory. And whether or not it's true or not, I don't know. Let me know your theories in the comment section below. Future flightless bird here. So I rendered my video and I uploaded it. And I want to get the link for the Steam page. And I never bothered to read the Steam page. And I realized that was a mistake. Because there are clues hidden in the Steam page that we need to talk about. Uh, first off, we see a return of the Dancing Darcy game. We also see the other things we saw in the trailer. Join Julian and his friends in a psychological horror experience inspired by point-click adventure games from the early 1900s. Many shenanigans with characters from infamous 90XX. I already read that. That's from his video. A, let's see. Uh, about this game, Julian and friends. Join Julian and his friends in psychological horror experience inspired by point-and-click comedy games from the early 2000s, whereas many uh, witness made sure against the characters from Infinite and Need XX story. Today is Julian's birthday, and he must help Julian set everything up to make the perfect surprise party for the love of his life. Julian will need help from all his friends too. Visit many places around town and help many characters with their shenanigans so that they may help you in return. Fly through space, sail across the sea, and go on many other wacky adventures with Julian and his friends. Gameplay. This experience plays like an interactive film where most of the game has cutscenes and dialogue with some minigames in between. The game will change depending on what codes you enter at the start. While some elements remain the same, the codes can change the outcome. Codes are unlocked as you progress, but the base game can still be played without inputting a code. Be careful as some codes have corrupt data, so enter them at your own risk. So here we already see the uh, uh, the influence of 98XX. I'm really interested in what he means by code entering. Features, full voice acting, streaming mode. Thank you for that. 10 minigames, 20 in-game achievements, multiple endings, unlockable secrets, and more. Meet the cast. Jeremy Julian is always willing to lend a helping hand to those who need it. Making new friends is always the number one priority. Jumping, obviously, being his second. <laughs> That's great. Uh, this is Julia, Julian's lovely wife. She and Julian live together at the center of town. Always ensuring everything is going according to plan. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but my, my suspicious meter on her is way off the chart. Uh, Gerald, the happiest face I'll ever see. Gerald is a happy-go-lucky fellow who never hesitates to share a smile with those who need it. However, he always makes sure that his shop is in ship shape. Uh, Darcy. Darcy is an angelic dancer who seems to never make a mistake. Perfection is a goal, but is never afraid to encourage others to make mistakes themselves. And then we have the pencil. You thought pencils could talk? Well, then you're wrong. Mr. Wright's goal is to ensure everyone knows the proper way of writing. I mean, what more do you expect from a pencil, right? Uh, with being the rule of the entire castle, Princess Angelica. Angelica, that's her name. I'm sorry, I forget your name, Angelica. I really, really apologize. Is as hyper and energetic as one could be. She's always looking for adventure and never hesitates to explore many areas in the land. However, she is most proud of her pet fogs, also known as the Fantastic Fog Choir. Enjoy yourself when you see many shenanigans these wacky characters get themselves into. Let's just hope they don't get into any trouble. EST LLC. Ezra Tech, where dreams never die. This game is created using programs and assets that can be dangerous for some players. If any sort of mental issue or psychological distress comes upon you while playing, you are not to be held responsible. Thank you. Ezra Tech, LLC. Just wonder what cheaters here implies. Oh, we have a code. And the code, the code has meaning to it. The code has meaning to it. And if you substitute the numbers with letters, so basically A equals one, B equals two, C equals three, and so on, you get the biggest clue that this could be a 98XX sequel in disguise. Because the clue, my friends, spells out 
the nightmare is coming. We all know Miturgna is an anagram for nightmare. So that means Miturgna could be back. Maybe Miturgna is Julia. That's my theory. That's my theory. I, I'm, I'm sticking with it. A uh, developer describes content like this. This game contains graphic disturbing injury and sensitive dark topics that may not be suitable for all players. You are easily disturbed or suffer from epilepsy or offing yourself thoughts. This game is not for you. Proceed with caution. All right, so that is Julian and Friends. Make sure you go here and wishlist and follow. I, I Yeah, uh, let me get back to past lightless bird as he wraps up this video because it's already super late and I didn't mean to do this part of the video. It just happened. Go and check out the original video that is on YouTube. I will put a link to that video in the description below. I, I want you to go there and, you know, make sure you support our friend Jackson G because he's awesome. Uh, also, wishlist the game on Steam because, yeah, he's great. And I want to support creators who are great because they make great stuff. <laughs> I love you all so very much. I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And until next time, on whatever video Jackson G puts out. Like, I'm kind of, you know, in this theme here where I keep reacting to his videos because they're interesting. So whenever he puts out the next video, we'll, we'll have another react and uh, we can have a discussion about it. Also, in the comment section is a link to my Discord, so join our Discord if you also want to talk there. But until next time, I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. So long, and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter, and you are brilliant, and you are loved, and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.